Hi, welcome to this week's Thrive in Five. I'm really glad you're here. Uh, it's the start of the year, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about how to accomplish things. And I know many of us set resolutions, many of us try and sort of create this uh, thing that will propel us forward. And as I do some coaching work with people, one of the things I discover is uh, there's not a clear articulation of, of really some important factors in terms of that accomplishment. So uh, really the, the best way to do that, I find in a very simple way, is to start with where are you now? Uh, and clearly define where you are now. And so if this is, for example, about losing weight, say you, you want to accomplish something which is losing weight, the first thing you want to do is acknowledge where you are. Uh, and, and that's often uh, a great place to start. Where am I right now? Um, if I'm now at 200 pounds and I need to get to 180, well, I got to know where I am. Second thing I need to know is where do I want to be or where do I want to go? Uh, and I think sometimes as we create for ourselves resolutions and we think about that kind of thing, we have these uh, sort of ideas of where we want to go, but I think one of the best things you can do is be very clear on where you want to go. And, and those two are important things. I, I think it's really important for you to actually write on a piece of paper, where am I now and where do I want to go, specific to a certain thing. So where are you now, where do you want to go? Uh, and then really what you have to figure out is how do I get from where I am to where I want to go? What's it going to take? What are the activities I'm going to do? What are the resources I'm going to need? What are the tools that are going to help me get there? So if I'm 200 pounds and I want to get to 180, then the how for me really comes down to a number of factors. The first factor is, am I going to exercise some more or be active or, or lift weight? So those, that's a how. There's also the reduction in the kinds of food I'm eating. Uh, so reducing a certain set of foods, uh, adding a certain set of foods. Those are all sort of the activities that get you to your goals. But I think the thing that often we miss, and that's why so many people uh, I think get stuck on resolutions or fail to get resolutions, is because these goals get stuck as just that. And I think what I've learned and the thing that's helped me immensely is to move goals into projects. And projects, if you work in a business environment, projects are just a series of tasks that get you to a result. And so what becomes very helpful is if you know the how and you know the goals you want to get to, what you start doing is creating those as projects. And projects are often tasks stuck inside of a calendar. And so one of the, the coolest things I've discovered is um, to schedule those priorities from those tasks. So if you want to exercise, put it in your schedule. If you want to eat differently, schedule that into your, uh, your life as a project. And that project is really the best way to move forward to accomplish the things you want in your world. So as you consider the different things that are important to you this year, um, define them, be very clear about those definitions, and then go and take those goals, uh, and you can set deadlines around them, that's a really helpful thing to do, but, but create projects out of those. Create actual projects to support the ability to get from where you are to where you want to be and do that in an effective manner. I hope that helps. Have yourself a great week.